Indian yellow is quite transparent. There. I'm in a bright, happy mood today. It's a good day to be alive. So let's do a painting that reflects that. Shoot, every day's a good day to be alive. There we are. Maybe a little bit of it down here. If we're going to have water, we'll just put a little in there. What the heck? Okay, without even cleaning the brush, I'm going to go right into a touch of alizarin crimson and just, just tap a little bit into the bristles, like so. Like so. And we'll go right up above this, and I'm just going to lay in a little bit of crimson. Just wherever. Sort of let them flow together. There we are. Just blend those edges out very nice. Just put a little warm spot up here in the sky. Okay, we'll take a little crimson and we'll throw a little of that down here too. What the heck? What the heck? We don't care. That's good enough. Okay. Just have a good time. That's really what painting's all about, is just enjoy yourself. Okay, a little phthalo blue, and I still have the same old dirty brush. Let's go right on back up in here, using a little crisscross strokes. And I've started out here and working downward, so it'll mix with a liquid white and automatically get lighter and lighter in value. There. See, the blue is so much stronger than that crimson. Well, it'll just, it'll eat it up if you're not careful. Maybe a little bit right in here. Now, when you do your painting, if you don't want all these colors in the sky, just leave them out. You can make any kind of sky that you want. Just want to show you how to make a beautiful, bright little painting. We'll take some phthalo blue and a touch, just a touch, of phthalo green. one. From all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting. God bless, my friend.